Dean, let's kick into the fourth game of Australia's Tour of South Africa. Our last test match going to be for the series, for the season of career mode in Ashes Cricket. Uh, because after this, we've got some one-dayers, I think, whether or not we'll get to those. I don't know. Uh, but this could arguably be the last match of the entire series before we get stuck in to Cricket 19 and see what that game has to offer because it is coming out uh, this time next week or thereabouts next week. So uh, we are very, very close. We are closing up the final few episodes of this career mode. Uh, and let's, let's get into it. All right, big decision earlier in this guy. All right, who's going to win the South Africa won the toss again? And they're going to bowl again. They must be absolutely destroying us with the ball because they've chosen, chosen to bowl once again uh, in these test matches. I'm very surprised by that fact. And we've had three blokes, four blokes make half century. So the pressure is on me to come in and actually do that. Can we make half centuries? And can we finish our test match career? For this series, for this Ashes Cricket series, with a strike rate of, I mean, with a, an average of over 100. Or, we're going to do a Bradman and fall short. We're going to hit a boundary to start and get ourselves off the mark. Oh, that's good as well. I'm just finding gaps early in this innings. It's been a promising start. Oh, I've gone to work it onto the onside, and there's the outside edge, and there's another boundary. Oh, that's nice. There's two. We'll do the way. Oh, that's nice. Driving through mid wicket. Could be a three here. Oh, actually, this is a dangerous turn. Gonna have to go and go fast and get there. And that is the end of the session. The end of the morning session or the afternoon session i think it might be the second session of the day it is finished it is three for three 22 i'm 21 from 21 what a promising start it has been in this innings much better performances than we saw in the last test match uh, mcdermott on 121 not out and you've seen australia it must be a good batting pitch by the way don't particularly know why the south africans chose to bowl because we've seen already uh four half centuries i'm hoping to make that a fifth or four scores at least uh, 50 or above. So uh, if I can provide that, uh, we, we could be looking at a 500 plus first inning score here and that uh, could put Australia in a very, very dominant position. Let's continue with the final session on day one. Yep. All right, this could be another two. Oh, it could actually go to the rope. That just kept kicking on. Further and further it went. It continued to kick, and that's another four. Just pierced the gap beautifully. Oh, that's cracking. That is a great drive. That is four. Let's just knock this off, shall we? 29 from 24. What a promising start. What a great pitch. That's a terrible decision. <laughs> Australia, three for 330 in, you know, what he's going to end up being. A very prime position. We're hoping to get a really big score on the board here. Yep. Driving the ball like that is exactly how we want to go about it. And the outfield is quick because look at it. It keeps going and going and it's four more. And this has been 12 from the over. I've now scored 33 runs in just 26 deliveries. And that's four. Oh, no, it's not. That is very close. But it basically has... Oh, and here we go, the spinner. Who did get me out in the last test. And it was something like that that made me go. Really, I'm not actually confident here. This is the first time they brought the spinner on too. And it's been after 67 overs. A little strange. But we are four down. Maxwell to the crease. Not sure when we lost. Uh, who did we lose? Ben McDermott. But we have. Anyway, the pace bowling will work for me, I think. Oh, massive edge. Did it not carry? Crowd didn't go up. So there was no massive noise about it. Oh, it didn't carry. It's a great piece of fielding, though. And again, I'm continuing to drive and edge the ball. 
inside the off stump. So they're putting it out there and I'm having a crack at it. That one was a bit nicer. A little bit more of the middle of it. And again, this time it might just slow up a fraction. But four. That's become my signature shot. That that drive through there. It used to be the glance. And now it's the whip. I mean, it's now the drive. That's a terrible block. This is just a cracking pitch to bat on, by the way. Everything looks like it's coming on really nice and smooth. There doesn't seem to be any uh, real troubling bounces or anything. We just look good. We're... We're playing it well. Four for three forty-nine after sixty-nine. We're definitely rotating the seamers around. Spinners though. Oh, that is extraordinary. That is a big shot. That is a cracking pull or hook or what? It, you know, I still don't know the difference. But let's have a look at this shot. I saw the short ball, I decided to go in the air. There was a fielder getting there, but it was just hit with such force. It went for six. I just, come on, just, just have a look at this go bang. How close was the fielder to it? Because it must have been, oh, jeez. If, if he made, ma oh, jeez, where am I? Lost, lost it, I've lost everything. Am I outside the field? Yeah, there we go. All right. If he somehow managed, to catch this ball, I would have been filthy. This has been a remarkably good innings. Oh, it was short again. I looked to hit it away again. And this time it wasn't to be. It's along the ground this time. Didn't want to go the risk. Pick up two more. Oh, that is swept away. Just the one. Hit the strike. Four for three, seven, one. Yep. One. You can see even with Maxwell this innings that, uh, you know, he's been progressing it above a runner ball, that strike rate, because we have just needed... Um, we've just been utilising the fact that the pitch has been good, we've been batting pretty well, and it's allowed us to score fairly quickly. Yep. Oh, that's nice. That swept away, and I'm hoping it'll go to the boundary. It does. That is 50. Could have been 50 with just the two there anyway. But uh, that is brought up from just 47 deliveries. Seven fours and a six in there. Been a cracking innings. I've loved it. That's out. That is well out. Goodbye. Oh, Big Ross gives the finger. Delivers the verdict. I, I, it's 100% it's plum. So, <laughs> this is... This is... Have a look at this. This is cracking. This innings. Lots of boundaries. Lots of colour in it. Wasn't a boring innings. I need to like about it. 52 from 48. I'd probably be better suited in a one day game. We, we ended up managing to make another 50 and it looked like our team went on and a couple more guys did that. So let's find out what the state of the game is. Australia made 484 uh, with the top I think it's the top seven scoring 50 and above. That is great. 51, 59, 121, 70, 52, 51, 50. And then, obviously, the bowlers uh, made like 40 odd between, 40 between them in total. So, didn't contribute a hell of a lot down the bottom end, but our top end certainly did a lot of work. The one thing you probably could say was a knock on air innings because no one went on to make a really big score. Uh, but two for 70 right now. We've put the uh, South Africans under pressure. They haven't started as well as we did. And you just hope maybe we can pull off uh, a wicket or two. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's, it's there. It's there to be taken. Have a look. Have a look at this. There's a fielder in here for a reason. It hits the bat. It hits the pad. Glenn Maxwell, you're a good fielder and you've run away from the ball. Ah. I'm certainly getting the ball to turn a lot, though, if you can see that. Certainly up the, uh... I think that's what I put all all 200,000 of my points into at the end of the last uh, match. I put that all into the off break. So we should be creating some real drama. Nice. Oh, my God, again! <sighs> that's brutal. Have a look at this. That's the second one. Y you're there. 
You are there for a reason. This time it's Matthew Wade. He 100% could get to that. Oh my goodness, again. How good has my bowling been in the first seven deliveries? Oh, it's just carnage right now. Chaos, carnage. The ball is turning so much. There is, there is a high likelihood I'm taking a wicket here. I just need them to take the catch at bat pad. It's exactly what I've been putting the fielders around there for. Anyway, it's a maiden. Two for 78. Oh, it's close. It had to be outside the line. That's all I can think of. I decided to not go upstairs because I did feel like it was just hitting outside the line. It would have gone on to hit the stumps. I know it wouldn't have. There you go. Good bugger all. There it is. There it is. Finally, someone takes the catch and gets somewhat reward for effort. The edge behind from De Villiers. And we'll see him packing three for 85 South Africans. Oh, and again, I am just creating problems for the batsman. Oh, that's just gone over the top. Well, I mean just, but... It definitely went over the top of the cover fielder for a boundary. The cock has made a half century. He's pretty happy with that. Oh, wow. That was tempting. The maiden over. 3 for 146. And Cummins, I'm hoping he comes on and steals the show a little bit. Really hoping someone does something. Won't have to do it all. The problem, as we said a little bit earlier, was his pitch was very good to bat on, so if any of these guys do go on to make big scores, it's entirely possible, because we've seen it happen. We've seen everyone get a start. Even if we are only leading by 200 odd, from the end of the first innings. Oh, that is very, very close. There is three overs left in the day. Australia lead it by 160 runs. And we are down to just one wicket to go to put ourselves into a very, very comfortable position at the end of the first innings. It will just be a matter of time before we take out this 10th wicket and get ourselves back into that, which probably wouldn't happen until the next day's play. There it is. So, Australia have done... What am I on? Averaging 84.64. What do I need to average more than 100? Maybe that should be the challenge here. Email Australia 3 for 15 on a deteriorating pitch. Alright, that is the story for the next episode. Thank you for watching. We'll continue with this innings in that next episode. And until then, let the drama will continue. Oh, gee, we're playing Cricket 19. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, and then coming back to this, I feel like Cricket 19, the ball definitely comes on a lot quicker. Much like this delivery. This delivery came onto the bat very quick. And that's probably why I ended up getting the edge.